So what do we learn this week about Hollow Run Aggro in Standard? And by the record, we don't have much to complain about. We finished our matches 4-1. and one. We did play a couple of Wacky Brews, the Fog Mill deck, the weird version of Red Deck wins. We lost to Esper Control, which felt pretty rough. Our deck does not like Fumigate. That card is super good against us. So, uh, you know, I can see there's good and bad matchups. So the good news is we have a lot of really big, powerful things. Like, this feels like a green-red monsters deck. That's really what it comes down to. At just every point on the curve, we're playing big things. We got news Constrictors and Blood Rage Brawlers at two. Hollow One, hopefully on three, with Ronas. At four, we hopefully have Hazaret and Honored Hydra, assuming we can discard it. Top it off with Glory Binger. So we just play really above-the-curve threats at every point on the curve and hope that's good enough. And at least in our matches, it was good enough a lot of the time. As far as Hollow One the namesake card itself, it's a little hit or miss. The nice thing about Hollow One is with News Constrictor, it gives us this weird nut draw. I think it maybe happened once in all of our matches where we just News Constrictor, discard a bunch of cards, play multiple Hollow Ones on turn two or turn three, and just win the game really quickly. So it's nice that we have this weird free win line of attack, although that's like a 10%, 5%. It's a pretty low percent that we're actually going to have that hand, and it's it's going to work out. But it is nice to have the option. I think the card I was most disappointed in was Blood Rage Brawler, which was actually pretty awkward. We don't actually have that many things we want to discard. Honored Hydra, we always want to discard. Fiery Temper, we sometimes want to discard. Like, it's always a fine discard. We can always just Lava Spike our opponent's face and get some value. But we have pretty minimal removal in our deck. So sometimes we really want to hold on to the Fiery Temper to try to kill a creature rather than just Lava Spiking on turn three. So a lot of times Blood Rage Brawler was real card disadvantage. And it just dies to so much right now. With a Braid being so popular, Fatal Push right behind that, Incendiary Flow back in the form. Format. There's so many things that just kill a three toughness creature, and it's kind of disappointing, I guess, to two for one ourselves. If we always had something we discarded for free, I think I would be more happy with Blood Rage Brawler, but since we were actually discarding real cards a pretty significant portion of the time, it's pretty painful to have to discard a Glory Bringer or a God or something and then just have our Blood Rage Brawler die. Key to the City was super impressive, though, so I'm almost wondering if we just want to go more Key to the Cities, because it was very, very strong, and there were several games that we won by making our stuff unblockable, and there were several times that we won specifically because Key to the City helped us draw through some problematic situations where we were able to just dig out of Mana Screw, for example, thanks to Key to the City, so I was pretty happy with that, and I almost wonder if we'd just be better off playing more Key to the Cities, at least one more Key to the City over some of the Blood Rage Brawlers, just because that card was very, very good, and it gives us more control over the timing of our discard. So, I don't know. The deck was sweet. If you like big creature stompy decks, I think it's a pretty good option, and I don't really have a whole lot to complain about. I was impressed with the Earthshaker Kenras coming out of the sideboard, the Prowling Sapopards were good, I mean, just all around, it was solid, so... Whether or not this can be a real, real deck, I'm not 100% sure. There are some clunky draws. We occasionally have trouble with our mana. Traverse is actually not that impressive. We didn't turn on Traverse all that consistently. But it felt like it was good, and it felt like you could win games with it. So if you are interested in just beating face with the biggest green and red creatures possible... Hollow and Aggro seems like a pretty good option, so I guess not a whole lot to complain about or to change, really, as far as what the deck's trying to do. I guess one question would be is whether the discard plan is necessary, like whether it's better than just being literal green-red monsters, like cut the Hollow Ones, cut the News Constrictors, uh, cut the Blood Rage Brawlers, maybe the Honored Hydras, and just play like 
the same foundation of the gods and glory bringers, but with, I don't know, Verterous Gear Hulks and Sylvan Advocates and not really worrying about the synergy at all. And I don't know if that's better or worse. It would be a similar idea, uh, and it, we would lose the free win potential of just news considering out multiple hollow ones, so we would lose the nut draw. But I don't know. So that's something to think about if you want to play this style of deck is whether or not the discard plan is the right direction to go. But like I said, we went 4-1, which is a fine record. Perfectly happy with going 4-1. The deck did some sweet things. We played a lot of big things. We made them unblockable. We smashed face. So I think unless there's a lot of control in your meta and a lot of fumigates in your meta, that this deck is actually fairly solid. And we did a pretty good job of just keeping up with most of the decks in the format. So anyway, I think that brings us to the end of Much of Brew Hollow One Aggro. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the videos and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.